Well, it seems like it's been years since we've been talked about gas prices under $3 a gallon, right? But we found just that at some stations in the area. Cynthia Newsom joins us live now. And Cynthia, what a relief for so many of us, but is it going to last? Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely a very real concern, but they're having a lot of fun right now filling up at $2.97 a gallon here in South Kansas City. Now, this person filled up for just $30.16, but there are very real concerns about how long will this last and also why in the world suddenly did the prices drop overnight anyway? So while they're enjoying these bargain basement prices, I set out to find some answers. This is one time it's not too good to be true. One gallon of unleaded gas, $2.97. I was shocked to see the $2.97. I jumped over here right away as soon as I saw that. That's terrific. And not just here in Kansas City, 18 other states, including Kansas, are seeing gas prices below the $3 mark. Customers are glad, but they're wondering why. Mid-America Regional Council economist Jeff Pinkerton listed three reasons. Violence in the Middle East has calmed down, and there's a new type of gas for the winter. We are driving more fuel-efficient vehicles, so therefore we're demanding less. The supply is good, and then we're going to a cheaper brand of gasoline, and that's uh, keeping gas prices down. Under $3 is great, but some customers are wondering just how long it will last. I'm wondering what's going on with the government being closed and all that. Gas prices are dropping when everything opens up and goes back to quote-unquote normal. So will the gas prices. And sadly, she's probably right. The economist that we spoke with said that every spring, gas prices go up, and he expects the same thing to happen in 2014. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.